On May 2nd of 2023, the Writers Guild of America went on strike after negotiations around basic labor conditions failed with Hollywood's producer alliance, AMPTP. SAG-AFTRA, America's Screen Actor Guild, began their own strike on July 13. The reasoning behind this radical action is clear. Studio executive profits have increased by 39% in the last decade, compared to a 4% decrease in screenwriter profits, with many Guild members fearing that these creative professions will no longer support the cost of living. Screen unions have been required to fight for equitable working conditions throughout history as their industry rapidly evolves. But as Hollywood's first double strike in 63 years, it is clear that the union's concerns go beyond merely increasing wages and residuals. Instead, a key innovation has dominated the conversation, and even in Australia, it is redefining the media landscape as we know it. Due to the broad nature of AI as a concept, it is important to define it within a screen industry context. Although traditional pattern recognition AI has been used for years, the technology currently making headlines through programs such as ChatGPT and Midjourney is known as generative AI. These are deep learning algorithms that are trained on large data sets from across the internet, allowing them to produce original content such as screenplays, images, and even music. Often only requiring simple prompts from users to generate outputs, the effectiveness and accessibility of this technology is already disrupting Australia's screen industry in both positive and negative ways. Despite AI technology still being in its infancy, many Australian screen workers believe it'll have countless negative implications for our media industry. In March 2023, the MEAA, the Australian Union representing media workers, made an official statement expressing the need for regulation around creative AI tools. Their official position regards responsibly designed AI as having the potential to enhance the work of their members, but concedes that it has far-reaching consequences that must be considered. The union outlined foreseen threats AI will likely have on the media industry if left unchecked, such as an overall reduction in demand for services from creative professionals, threatening editorial independence and control, and overall low job satisfaction resulting from the loss of creative freedom. The looming threat of AI superseding workers is beginning to be felt within the national film industry, particularly among Australian screenwriters. As the appetite to use AI to generate first drafts of scripts grows, writers face being delegated to polishing stories rather than producing them. Executives at the helm of production companies who have a duty to shareholders to maximise profits and ensure the longevity of their businesses stand to save at least $137,000 per writer if they are relegated to consultants. In the wake of the writer's strike, this shows that modern screenwriters are seen as unnecessarily expensive and from a financial standpoint, could soon be considered obsolete when compared to the cost effectiveness and productivity of AI. Additionally, AI technology poses significant challenges for the future of copyright law, with recent technological developments stoking discourse as to how intellectual property ownership functions when the author of a work is an autonomous agent. As generative AI works by drawing from a vast selection of existing intellectual property as a means of derivatively generating its own content, this has led academics such as Hertzman to suggest that this does not count as genuine creative expression. Though many professional artists remain optimistic that the human creative spark is irreplaceable, further developments could have dire implications on both screen careers and screen content. However, if the MEAA were to proactively regulate these technologies now, there is evidence that AI could be harnessed to create several opportunities for the Australian media industry. Australia is already cementing themselves as a top player in the development of AI technology for film. Currently, Australia is considered to have some of the best VFX specialists and studios in the world, with countless big films such as The Avengers, Harry Potter and shows like Game of Thrones choosing to source their special effects from down under. So, naturally, it would make sense that the next step would be AI. Recently, researchers from the University of Adelaide's Institute for Machine Learning teamed up with Australian company Rising Sun Pictures to create visual effects using deepfakes for Marvel's film Shang-Chi. Coupled with the Australian government's incentive to reimburse international studios with 30% of the money they spend on their productions in Australia, this technological development will only continue to establish Australia as a key player on the big international stage. But none of this positive innovation is possible without the proper regulations in place to ensure that human involvement is not lost. 
According to the MEAA, AI regulation needs to be focused on transparency and ensuring that Australian actors and screenwriters' opportunities for work are not reduced, but rather enhanced by the use of this technology. But what impact would well-regulated AI technology have on the writing process? Well, allowing programs such as ChatGPT to create first drafts of scripts removes the writer's emotional connection to the first draft of their story, providing an opportunity for more critical thinking and reflection. For writers and creatives with disabilities, AI technology is making entry into the film industry more accessible than ever. Creatives with disabilities often have few ways to express their art forms, and well-regulated AI technology would provide them a platform to subvert the traditional power structures of the industry, giving a creative voice to those who have not had one before. So, if proper regulations, such as those the MEAA is suggesting, can be put in place, and the more professionals who are willing to support this transition, the more likely it is to result in further job growth and the opportunity for more meaningful work to be created. We hope that you found our discussion of AI's impacts on Australia's screen industry insightful. If you're interested in learning more about generative AI and its potential to disrupt, here are some sources to get you started.